what's up guys it's gibbet welcome to another video today we're gonna be testing crisis on the m1 chip using parallels in windows 11 and as you know there are all the time tests of crisis since the hardware specifications that you needed when it got released were so high and i was just interested in how well it will run in 2021 on an m1 chip like how far we made it in uh, so many years and i think it's actually quite impressive if you think about how thin the macbook is and the performance it delivers and yeah enough talking i think you should just make a picture yourself and we're gonna begin with the test if you want to know how to install parallel 17 on your macbook i already made a video about that just check out my videos on my channel but of course i already installed everything and we're gonna get straight to the game so as you can see i already opened origin and we're gonna open straight away crisis right here i'm gonna go straight away to options and system settings and we're gonna tweak around a little bit with the settings well not so much to be honest I'm just gonna put the rear resolution to full HD and we're gonna go one more time into uh, advanced settings for putting all the settings up I'm gonna put everything to very high and see how well that runs and I already gave the virtual machine 6 GB of RAM, uh, sorry, six, g <laughs> 6 cores and 12 GB of RAM. So as you can see it takes a little time for loading those textures and it's a little bit spiky. As soon as it has to load textures it will get really spiky but once the textures are loaded um, it actually runs well. But um, you can see on the top right is the FPS counter. We're not getting more than between 20 to 30 FPS and you're gonna see the more we walk and the more textures it has to load the more spiky it would get. I mean until here it looks like it doesn't run so bad but now you're gonna see as soon as we're getting here some enemies it's getting a lot more spiky and I'm sorry for the bad aim but um, I was playing with my magic mouse which was not a good decision um, and also sometimes when I move with the mouse it was moving with delay somehow and um, so yeah my apologies for that so now you saw it I mean considering that we're running here on such a thin macbook um, having everything to very high and full hd and even in parallels uh, it runs great like in my opinion but of course we're having those big spikes um, i think that is just because it's everything to very high and full hd is just too much we're gonna put down that resolution and see if that might help in this situation. What have you got, Aztec? KPA, Formal Patrol. Have you been compromised? Negative. So it seems to run a little bit better and it's not having that big spikes, at least at the moment. But I have the feeling it's also because we it already loaded all the textures and we're getting a little bit more FPS. But as soon as we're getting here in this area, I have the feeling it has to load more textures and because of the two enemies shooting and us shooting and we're getting here a lot of spikes and sorry again but the apple magic mouse is just not made for gaming and that was the last one so yeah still not that great but it runs better especially when the enemies are gone but we're gonna now put all the settings to high and see how it affects the performance so 
so you can already see we're getting here more fps um something around 30 to 40 but of course we're also just facing a wall um but also here in the open field in average we're having more fps of course they all the time drop down as soon as it's uh, loading more textures use your binocs to tag them before you run in line Beautiful sunrise and we're already getting shot. Yeah, I mean, if those big spikes wouldn't be all the time, uh, I could actually say it runs really well. But those spikes are like making it difficult to play the game because you're in a fight with enemies and suddenly it's freezing the picture. But besides that, you can see it runs actually well. So one last time I'm gonna put down the texture quality, this time only the texture quality. And we're gonna set it to medium. So we're having now the texture quality to the medium and the rest is still too high and the resolution same as before. Here somehow my capture card had a problem and um, somehow I didn't catch those frames but uh, in the MacBook it was actually running well but that was the only time that it had a problem. So I think you've seen enough to make yourself a picture. I think it actually runs well considering we're in a virtual machine and imagine what, what kind of hardware you needed when the game got released and now these days after like 13 years we only need a MacBook to be able to run it with actually high settings and with such a small form factor that is actually quite impressive. So thank you very much for watching this video guys, uh, I hope to see you in the next one and if you like this video give it a like, comment down below what you think and maybe also if you have ideas for another video let me know in the comments down below and if you subscribe to me it would help me a lot with this channel, working on this channel and yeah thank you very much for watching, see you in the next one.